Hey guys, a new legendary sniper has been added to Borderlands 3 with yesterday's update. There is a very specific boss that you have to farm to get one of these and it's really powerful. It's the most powerful sniper that we've seen so far. I'll show you guys where to get it and how well it performs and I was able to get multiple of these with different elemental abilities so I'll show you guys all of that. First thing you have to do to get one of these snipers and it's just like the video I posted yesterday, you have to go to Sanctuary and turn it to Mayhem Mode 4. This new mode was just added yesterday and it gives you very special loot when you go and beat certain bosses. So yes, you do have to have it in this mode to be able to get this sniper. The only boss that drops this is going to be Captain Tront on Athenus. And here's a map of that and his arena is going to be down here on this side of the map. Good news is that along with this update yesterday, they have added a vending machine outside of his arena. And it's just an ammo machine so you can grab some ammo, go in, farm him. It's so much easier. So the enemies are a whole lot tougher on Mayhem Mode 4. So if you're trying to farm one of these bosses like Captain Tront, you do need a really good strategy so that it's not super frustrating. In Mayhem Mode 4, they have 850% more health. And I'm going to show you guys a build where you can beat him in less than 30 seconds. And here's some footage right here of it. I should be posting that video later tonight, but it's a flak build. And yeah, this build absolutely destroys him. And if you're wanting to farm for this sniper, you need something fast and quick because I think based on my testing, it's about a 3% drop for this sniper. So out of every 100 kills, you're going to maybe get three. Meaning if you only want to get one, you're going to need to kill him around 30 times. Now that's based on my testing. Other people may have better luck or worse luck. So the name of this legendary sniper is called a Tankman's Shield. And it does have different prefixes based on what you get. The one I have here is called a Shrewd Tanksman Shield. Out of all of them that I picked up, this one had the most damage of 2,400 and 27, which is a whole lot more than we've seen in any sniper. The other snipers that we have currently that are legendary and level 50 can range anywhere from like 900 to 1800 damage. And I'll show you guys a comparison of this sniper to a Lyuda later on. So for this non-elemental Hyperion sniper, it's got pretty good accuracy and handling. Reload time is pretty good. Fire rate is all right at 3.1 and a magazine size of 11, not too bad. The red text reads, you ever seen this dude tank anything ever? Ever. I googled that. I couldn't find anything. Maybe it's some meme that I don't know about. If you guys know what this could possibly relate to, definitely comment down below. The sniper also has some good bonuses for critical hit damage, weapon damage, shield capacity, melee damage. And down at the bottom, it says that every kill adds weapon damage to next magazine. I'll show you guys some gameplay with it and show you some of the damage multipliers that it gives. But first, I want to show you guys the comparison of three elementals that I was able to get with this sniper. And the one on the left is a shock elemental cash infused synergized in the middle is fire hostile synergized and then the one on the right is radiation undermining powerhouse now their damage is down quite a bit from the non elemental that I showed you guys at 2400 so with these elementals we're getting anywhere from like 1500 up to 1600 their elemental damage per second is ranging between 1200 to 1400 and they all have the same 23% chance of their elemental ability they're all getting bonus to their weapon damage, shield capacity, and reload speed. And then some of them are getting a really good weapon zoom or critical hit damage or like a melee damage increase. I was lucky enough to find two with anointed abilities and the shock elemental says consecutive hits. Increase weapon damage by 1% per hit. And if you miss any, then it removes all the bonuses. The one in the middle says while airborne, accuracy and handling are increased by 75%, which is really good if you can figure out a way to get airborne and then also use the sniper. The radiation one on the right has another bonus that damage to projected front facing shield reflects bullets back at attackers. I'll show you guys how this weapon compares to some of the other snipers and I went in and looked at my non-elemental Lyuda to compare it to my non-elemental Tankman's shield and my highest Tankman's was 2,427 damage. My highest Lyuda was 2 times 985. So you can see that the Tankman's shield is a little bit better, accuracy is better, handling is good, reload time, but the fire rate is where it suffers. 3.1 for the Tankman's to the 6.31 on the Lyuda, that's where it probably hurts it a little. So as far as gameplay, the gun handles very well. I noticed that when I was scoped in and bullets were hitting my shield, I was absorbing them and refilling my magazine. It doesn't say that anywhere in the stats, but it was definitely doing that. The ability that it did state is that every kill increased 
increases the weapon damage with the next magazine. I wanted to check that out and see if I could determine how much weapon damage it was increasing. So right here, I shot an enemy, got a critical hit for 44k, and after that, I went ahead and killed him off, because you're supposed to kill an enemy, and then the next magazine will increase in damage. So I killed him and then emptied out my entire magazine and reloaded. And I tested this several times, and it was really consistent. If I emptied out the magazine, then the next shot that I did would do 20% more weapon damage. So I went from 44k up to 55k. And so it was definitely showing a 20% increase every time. If I went and killed that one guy on the left but didn't reload, I wouldn't get that bonus. And obviously because it applies it to the next magazine, so I had to waste some bullets to see how this all works. But I really like the Shock Elemental version. It has the best stats out of all the ones that I have, and I feel like there's a lot of enemies that are shielded that need a Shock weapon. So if you guys can get your hands on one of these, yeah, you're gonna be good. But I hope this helped you guys out, and we'll see you next video.